Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a 50-year-old journalist on a mission to learn about aging well and looking and feeling as good as we can for as long as we can. Over the last year, I've talked quite a lot about my interest in peptides as being one of the most exciting skincare actives of the future. If I had to put money on it, I'd go with scientist and Blue Lean founder Dr. Kan Tsao's prediction that the skincare of the future will be about personalized approaches that are formulated for our individual skin type through skin analysis. That includes replacing or supplementing what our skin is lacking due to the age process and addressing that from within through diet supplementation and topical actives. Replacing depleted peptides, cell messengers in our skin to help maintain our cell activity is a crucial part of this developing approach. We're also finding ways to support mitochondrial function in our skin through things like red light therapy. So we're improving the energy levels in our cells. And we can also do that alongside using NAD boosters. NAD being a coenzyme that's crucial for maintaining cell health and which depletes with age. So these are all things we know we can use at the moment. The problem is we're not 100% sure precisely what combinations, concentrations and formulations are ideal for us right now. So many questions remain unanswered because it is a fast evolving industry. So my own approach is to use a mix of science-backed skincare actives and I'm seeing results. I just can't pretend to have all the answers or that what works for me would do exactly the same for you. No one has all the answers right now, but I believe peptides will play a very important role in future skincare and hair renewal too. And today I'm reporting on the results chiefly from my mum who's 80 and my dad who's 79, and they've been using either Calisum or One Skin products daily for the last six months. And I have some impressive before and afters to share with you. And I'll also share my own experience with peptide-based skincare. And before we get into the review, if you enjoy my content, then by hitting subscribe, you'll make sure you don't miss another review or interview. And in return, I promise to keep the content coming around skincare and aging well. So let's start with Calisum, the skincare brand that derives the peptides in its product from stem cells found in the umbilical cord lining of red deer, which contain an abundance of natural peptides and growth factors thousands of them to be precise. Our first experience of it was with my husband who used it to regain some lost volume at the back of his scalp. And you can see our initial review here including how to use it. The ingredients are ethically sourced because so far only one red deer umbilical cord has been used as a source of thousands of products and umbilical cords are discarded natural waste products that contain billions of stem cells so there are plenty to go around. The stem cells are extracted from the cord and put into a solution and they release the growth factors and peptides which is what are used in the conditioned media solution in their skin and hair ranges. And the idea is they signal to the proteins in our skin to behave more youthfully. And when it comes to hair regrowth, Callisum say the peptides and growth factors in their hair serum reinvigorate the hair follicle while reducing inflammation, creating the conditions for hair to start growing again. My husband saw visible results within a couple of months of using the advanced hair system. It comes with a derma stamp with tiny prongs. It's not painful to use, but the stamp helps open up the hair follicle before you apply initially half a five milliliter bottle per treatment. And you do that twice a week for the first six weeks. Now, more than six months on, my husband uses a quarter of a bottle once a week to maintain his results, which are holding up really well. Callison's Advanced Hair System is currently sold at £315 in the UK. That's around $360 in the US. It comes with six five milliliter bottles. So by using only a quarter of a bottle per week, it means each box lasts around six months. I have a 15% discount code, which I'll include in the description, and that helps take the overall cost down too. The most impressive results though belong to my dad. Regular viewers might remember that I gave my dad a few bottles of the Callison serum to try when my husband began to see results. And my dad just used a small amount initially for the first couple of weeks, not even using the derma stamp for those two, first two weeks because he forgot about it. And because he didn't have much product, he, he was only using a quarter bottle twice a week right from the start. After just three weeks, he called me to say he was convinced he could feel new hair coming in. And that's the point where I started to document with pictures his own hair regrowth experience and we got him some serum of his own. 
he used the stamp with each treatment from that point, but still just using about a quarter bottle, mainly on the back of his scalp, but taking a little of it further forward. After six weeks, he moved to doing the treatment just once a week, like my husband. Six months on, still using the same amount, he has had really incredible results. Now, I always get doubters when I share before and after pictures, and it's good to be critical and take a skeptical view, but no amount of lighting can add in hair that wasn't there before. And just take a look at how much his hair is growing back. He thinks it's still getting thicker, so where it will stop, we don't know, but I'll do a short update specifically on my dad's longer term results at the end of the year. Now, it's important to flag before moving on to skincare that if you've not had hair growth for years, then there does come a stage where it won't really invigorate the hair follicles. So you could email Callisum to check before buying if you have longer term hair loss. Now, when it comes to skincare, I've previously shared my friend Charmaine's three month Callisum results using their restorative hydration cream and multi-action cream daily, where she saw a big improvement in her skin's hydration and in reducing skin pigmentation, which she had quite a lot of. I have been using Callisum's multi-action cream for just under six months. I had intended after a few months to move on to try another product, but this really has been the year where I feel my skincare routine has pulled together for me. And I think this moisturizer has played a part in that. So I'm loath to move on, but that is the nature of what I do. These things take time. They work better on different skin types than they do others. And right now it's really hard to predict what will work best for your skin. And so it's a bit of trial and error. I've had viewers reporting good results with Callisum skincare and others who didn't feel it made a noticeable difference for them. And that goes for just about every type of skincare or device I've ever reviewed. And I feel my skin is looking a bit plumper and healthier. There's not a sea change, but there's also no decline. And an important part of skincare is in maintaining the health and integrity of our skin as we age. I feel it's my total routine that's paying off, but Callisum is part of the mix. I will list everything I currently use in the description. It's not a hugely extensive list. In the morning, I use a red light eye mask for three minutes first thing. Then after showering, I apply vitamin C, then Blue Lean with sunscreen. In the evenings, I use a retinal every other night, topped with a little more Blue Lean as an antioxidant to hopefully boost my red light therapy, and then some Callisum multi-action cream. So I use the red light mask for six minutes at night, and that's pretty much the core of my routine. Between September of last year and February this year, I did use Adipose Active Face Cream, which is designed to stimulate our superficial fat cells surrounding our hair follicles. I believe I saw results with that in terms of improving volume around my jowls, but it doesn't have to be used long-term. So that's something I might switch to for a few months here and there to give myself another boost. I use my Phoenix self-charging microcurrent roller a few times a week to support muscle tone and stimulate the skin. I also use a little vibrating red light eye pen a couple of times a week, but that's more about keeping the oil glands around my eyes unblocked. And I also microneedle once a month. The other thing I've been doing in the background is using an Auralift device, which is like a little mouth guard that you use to retrain your facial muscles. And it has had a big effect in relieving my jaw and ear pain as well. And I think it's had a little aesthetic benefit along the way too in toning my muscles, particularly under my chin, but I'll do a full review on that in a few weeks. I've done videos on most of the other things I mentioned there, which I'll also link to in the description. Going back to the Callisum multi-action cream that I've been using at night, it's priced from £75 or $68 for a 20 gram starter kit and £175 or $200 for 50 grams. So it is expensive. I've talked recently about number seven's peptide-based future renew range on this channel recently and spoken to the scientists behind it. Their products are cheaper, around £43 for the 50 milliliter serum in the UK, more in the US where it's $40 for 25 milliliters. This range is potentially a little less potent than Callisum's creams and serums, though it is carefully formulated and targeted and well worth a try based on the science behind it and its competitive price. Again, I'll link to it below and it is my recommendation for those looking to try peptide-based skincare products without breaking the budget. My mum has very recently added number seven's Future Renew Serum, the star player in the range, to her routine. And I've also just ordered myself a bottle of the serum to switch to shortly. And I will likely use the serum morning and night 
followed by a blue lean moisturizer and see how I go with that routine. So finally, One Skin. It's a skincare company founded by female scientists, one of whom I interviewed last year. They created a proprietary peptide which is plant-based and they say their research proves that their peptide penetrates the skin barrier and the formulation itself assists with penetration. So in a clinical trial, when they applied the cream topically to a skin sample, and I believe they grew their own skin in the lab to test with, and then they analyzed the dermal layer, they say they were then able to quantify an amount of peptide that had passed the barrier and made it into the dermal layer. And the way their peptide works is in reducing the accumulation of senescent cells, which release what are called inflammatory factors that can accelerate aging. They say their skin supplement cream, which my mum has been using, can start to reduce the skin's biological age within days and that the results will accumulate over time. As with Calisim though, this doesn't come cheap. It's only currently available in the US and Canada, so they had sent us samples. But when that changes, I'll update in the video description where I have a link. It's priced at $120 for a one-time purchase of 50 milliliters, $99 on subscription, and I have a 10% discount code for one-time purchases. They've recently brought out an eye cream for $109 for 20 milliliters, which has a higher concentration. I've been using it around my eyes for 12 weeks, so not putting callosum there over that time. I've not seen anything dramatic, though I do feel the skin around my eyes, like the rest of my skin, is a little plumper. So there's an improvement in the dark circles. But, you know, with the general improvement in my skin at the moment, it's hard to pin down the biggest contributing factor. So I just have to be honest about that. Taking a collagen supplement and using red light, I also think, are helpful. One individual at the end of the day cannot be a credible scientific study. There are so many factors that come into play and I know that's frustrating when you're watching <laughs> reviews, but I think we have to be realistic when judging one person's results and skincare influencers have to be upfront about that because there are so many other factors at play like season, diet, supplements, stress and sleep levels, hormonal changes, allergies, exercise, hydration, accumulated results from skincare actors that you've been using longer term and the use of things like red light. What you can tell more easily is what isn't working for you. Those products that can cause irritation, dryness or excessive oiliness and imbalance. So I can say that the One Skin Eye Supplement did agree with my skin. I recall finding it a little irritating in the first couple of weeks. I just had a little sensitivity when I first applied it, but that settled. And my feeling with eye creams is that they're more concentrated versions of the moisturizers, obviously. But when they're at that very expensive end of the market, I would probably spend on the moisturizer or a serum that I could use over my entire face and neck rather than something that targets a smaller area. I just think that's more maintainable over time. And when you start adding in lots of added extras, it just gets really pricey. Now, for my mum's before and afters, she's been using One Skin for six months and just recently finished the samples that they sent us. This was her at the start of the year, where in particular she had dryness and discoloration around her eyes. She's always had great skin, but obviously it becomes more challenged as you age. So this was her in March, and I am going to share that she had just lost her brother, my uncle, a few weeks before this picture was taken, and that also knocked her health a little. But she's doing much better now, but I think you can see the toll that took around her eyes. But even then, we did notice that there was a correction in the discoloration. And this is her photographed at the end of June, and you can see that improvement around her eyes holding up. Her skin is clearer, more balanced, and she says she stopped wearing face powder for the first time in her adult life. Now, skincare companies make big claims about reversing aging. And when you spend a lot of money, that, that creates very high expectations. And I think we have to be clear that we're only really able to make modest Modest but visible differences to the skin's superficial layer with skincare at the moment. So we should choose products within our financial comfort zones and not feel we're missing out on the big game changer. There's no miracle product out there right now. Finally, just a note on safety. Some dermatologists have raised concerns over the safety of active ingredients that can affect cell behavior, particularly those like callosum that are biologically derived. Firstly, 
Although callosum's active ingredients are derived from the stem cells in red deer umbilical cord, they do not include actual stem cells. Instead, they use stem cell extracts. The actual stem cells are used in a drug called Corlocyte, made by callosum's parent company, which in 2019 was approved by the FDA in the US for use in clinical trials for the treatment of foot ulcers with no reported safety concerns resulting from the phase one trial. Callison was created in 2015 and when I asked them about safety they pointed to the fact that their conditioned media has been used by thousands of consumers over the years with no reported safety concerns that I am aware of. That said, there are unknowns when it comes to using peptides and growth factors and the like on our skin. And so my own take on it is that I will likely just cycle products. So I'll use a particular product for three to six months and then switch for a while until we're 100% confident of how they work over time. That's probably overcautious, but I like switching skincare anyway. And that does help when you have a channel exploring new approaches to aging. My dad and husband will likely continue to use the hair serum longer term, they're using small quantities once a week and we have seen no negative effects. So that's as much as I can share with you right now. I think it's probably worth an interview with an independent expert about peptides, growth factors and stem cells in skincare, which I will endeavor to bring you on the channel. So I hope you found this helpful. I believe there's a peptide product out there to suit every skin type and budget. It's just a case of finding yours. So do share in the comments what you've tried and what works well for you. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.